Have you ever wondered how you look with your eyes but see with your brain? Let's delve into the fascinating world of our brain's predictive abilities. Our eyes dart around quicker than our brain can fully comprehend. To make up for this shortfall and to keep our vision stable, there is a theory that states that our brain can predict what we're going to see with our eyes in the future. A group of scientists from the University of Glasgow decided to explore this intriguing phenomenon. They embarked on a pioneering study to unravel exactly how our brain pulls off this impressive feat. Their tools of choice, functional magnetic resonance imaging or fMRI and optical illusions. Now, under usual circumstances, our eyes send information to our brain about what our surroundings look like, a process known as feed-forward input. But Gracie Edwards, a specialist in neuroscience and psychology at the University of Glasgow, states that our brain creates predictions based on memories of similar actions. In this intricate waltz, feed-forward and feedback information dance together, painting the visual scene we perceive every day. For their research, the team peered into the visual cortexes of 27 volunteers, all with normal or corrected to normal vision. They used an fMRI to do this as the volunteers stared at an optical illusion. The visual cortex, if you're wondering, is the part of the brain responsible for processing vision. The crux of their findings, our brain predicts the future based on the images of the past that our eyes send to it. But how can our brain be so accurate in its predictions? How is it that we humans go about our day not noticing any errors in these predictions? When we watch a moving object, our brain needs time to process what we see due to inherent delays in neuronal transmission. Yet, we can interact with rapidly moving objects without being aware of this delay. It's like our brain sees a phenomenon about 0.6 seconds after it happens. Therefore, scientists have concluded that due to this time delay between looking with the eyes and interpreting the image in the brain, surely the brain has the ability to estimate the path of the images in the future so that we can have an understanding of the present without delay. In the pursuit of answers, scientists embarked on an intriguing experiment involving 27 volunteers, optical illusions and functional magnetic resonance imaging. And based on the findings of this experiment, they suggested that the reason for this incident is the possibility of predicting images by the brain. But the important thing is why they came to such a conclusion. Well, it's all about the concept of feed-forward input. Usually, our eyes send information to the brain about what our surroundings look like. This is feed-forward input. It's a bit like the eyes saying to the brain, Hey, this is what's happening out here. However, the brain doesn't just passively receive this information. Instead, it actively engages with it, creating predictions about what we'll see next. And how does it do this? By pulling from a vast collection of memories of similar actions, it's like the brain is saying, I've seen this before, so I can guess what's coming next. This is an incredible feat of prediction, almost akin to seeing the future because it is necessary to predict the existence of errors in it. If we remove the error factor from the prediction, we are no longer facing a prediction, but we are predicting. And there is no such thing as prophecy in science. And this is what the scientists at the University of Glasgow were trying to understand. By observing the activity in the visual cortex as the volunteers looked at optical illusions, they could analyze how the brain interacted with feed-forward information and how it used memories to make predictions. So, with each optical illusion observed, each fMRI scan taken, the scientists were able to step further into the complex labyrinth of the human brain. And with every step, they moved closer to understanding our brain's remarkable predictive powers. This experiment was a step forward in unraveling the mystery of our brain's predictive powers. The results of the experiment were nothing short of astonishing. The brain, it appears, is an uncanny fortune teller drawing upon the past to predict the future with startling accuracy. This predictive prowess of the brain was brought to light through the diligent efforts of the researchers at the University of Glasgow. The findings of the experiment showed that our brain is able to predict what our eyes will see next based on the images of the past. It's like a continuous film playing in our minds, 
where the frames are images received from the past and the next frame is accurately predicted by our brain. This prediction is so precise, so flawless, that it allows us to perceive high-speed objects with ease. Picture this. You're watching a tennis match. The player serves and the ball whizzes across the court at high speed. Yet, you're able to follow the path of the ball. The ball doesn't appear as a blur, but as a distinct object moving across your field of view. This is all thanks to our brain's ability to predict the future based on the past images. The implications of these findings are profound. It's not just about catching a ball or swatting a fly. It's about our everyday interactions with the world around us. It explains why we can navigate through a bustling street, avoid obstacles when we're running, or even simply reach out and grab a cup of coffee without knocking it over. It's also about the way we perceive time. The brain's predictive abilities mean that we're never truly living in the present. We're always a fraction of a second behind, processing images from the past and predicting what comes next. Yet we're completely unaware of this delay. We perceive time as a continuous, seamless flow. This study underscores the fact that our brains are far more sophisticated and complex than we can imagine. It's a testament to the marvel of human evolution and the intricate workings of our nervous system. Our brain's ability to predict the future so accurately that we don't notice any errors in our daily life is truly remarkable. But why is the brain able to predict with such accuracy? Another experiment was conducted to find the answer, which was as amazing as it was terrifying. In another experiment that followed the results of Grace Edwards' experiments at the University of Melbourne, results were obtained that were quickly negated. An experimental error was declared and the case remained silent, leaving no trace of that experiment on public. In this experiment, they examined several people with very sensitive motion sensors that were sensitive to the blinks of the subjects. They were shown very short and unrelated pictures, and there was a basic element in these pictures let's say, a casco parrot. This element, casco parrot, was randomly present in some pictures and not in others. The purpose of the experiment was that the viewer of the image should blink as soon as they see a parrot in unrelated images so that the sensor checks their action speed. Due to the non-correlation of the images, the possibility of brain prediction was lost. The brain cannot predict whether the next image contains a parrot or not in two completely unrelated images that are displayed in a fraction of a second. So it was expected that the minimum response time of people is more than 0.6 seconds, when the brain needs to understand the first image for subsequent predictions. But the average timer for all samples under test showed a time of less than 0.1 seconds. According to major estimates, this time is also used to send the blink command from the eyelid to the eyelid muscles. So, practically, the scenario of the brain's ability to predict from past images is ruled out. But then, how is it that we can see the images instantly, even though it takes 0.6 seconds for our brain to see the images? We look with our eyes, but we see with our brain. And there is a gap of 0.6 seconds between looking and seeing. There is no explanation for this missing 0.6 seconds. The theory that we are going to propose has no scientific foundation. It has not been measured and cannot be proven or disproved. It can only be said that the only possible scenario to explain this missing 0.6 seconds is that the only explanation that remains is that our eyes can see events 0.6 seconds before they happen. Only in this way can we experience the present at the exact moment. I myself cannot digest what I am saying. But what other explanation can be given that the brain predicts something it has not seen yet? It can only be said that our eyes receive images of the next 0.6 seconds from the environment and send them to the brain. But how? Nobody knows. If we assume for just a moment that this theory is true, what does that mean? If we assume that this theory is true, we will reach a big dilemma. If our eyes can look at something that hasn't happened yet, it can't have two more meanings. First, there is no choice, and the future is completely written in advance and has a specific path because our eyes receive information from the future. So that means the future is a clear certainty that cannot be avoided. In other words, we are the only characters in a game who know what we will do in which part. 
We think that we have control over the situation only because of our awareness of our existence. Like the characters of recent artificial intelligence games such as the Matrix game, which have self-awareness. The second impression is that nothing exists unless an observer is present. All that exists is a quantum cloud of possibilities where anything is possible. After the presence of the first observer, one of these possibilities will occur. From this entangled cloud, the output probability is obtained, which constitutes the reality which is called the observer effect in quantum science. In fact, this forms the same belief that some prominent physicists, including Stephen Hawking, believe in. A belief in the existence of parallel worlds. But this theory may also be the only logical explanation for what happens under the name of déjà vu. No one has been able to explain why more than 80% of the world's people experience a phenomenon called déjà vu. If you've ever experienced it, you know we're not talking about a simple feeling of familiarity. Instead, every component of that experience is repeated, element by element, as if you've been there before. Maybe our eye, which has the ability to see 0.6 seconds in the future, is momentarily disturbed, and instead of 0.6 seconds in the future, it sends images related to 0.8 seconds in the future to the brain. If this happens in a hypothetical scenario, the brain considers everything it sees to be repetitive and familiar because it has seen and experienced them in the previous 0.2 seconds. And this distance is so short that it can only remember and not take action against it. Until today, a lot of research has been done on the phenomenon of déjà vu, and there is no answer for it, and only various theories are speculated. Perhaps this theory is a little more logical than other theories that only link déjà vu to the cognitive error of the brain. What do you think? How can the missing 0.6 seconds be explained? Let us know what you are thinking in the comments. Subscribe to the channel for more video and please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this.